Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit vertical video in Adobe Premiere Elements for social media. I'll walk you through five basic techniques to make editing easier and show you how to create three popular social media posts. When editing video for social media, there are two things I recommend understanding first, and that is the aspect ratio and video length for social media uploads as it stands in 2022. 1080 by 1920 or 9x16 is the standard dimension for several major social media platforms listed on the screen. While all the platforms use 1080 by 1920, the length of video you can upload varies widely. This is important to know because you don't want to waste time editing a four minute video and find out Instagram reels are only 90 seconds long. I listed all the video lengths on the screen. Quick Google search will also give you the maximum length because the length is subject to change based on viewing habits. I'm going to jump into Adobe Premiere Elements 2022. In 2022, Adobe added the vertical aspect ratio 1080 by 1920 to Premiere Elements. If you're running an older version of Premiere Elements prior to 2022, the vertical aspect ratio was not built in. To get it, you can upgrade to the newest version of Elements or in the description and at the end of this video, I'll place a link to a video that will show you how to add it to an older version of Premiere Elements. If you're in 2022, I'm in expert mode. Go to File, New, Project. This dialog window is going to open up. Pick a name. I'm just going to put VV for vertical video. Go to Social, and then I'm going to go to Facebook Story, which is 1080 by 1920. I'm going to select for selected project. I recommend you do this every time so you get the same consistent settings. I'm going to start by showing you five basic techniques to help you edit vertical video in Premiere Elements. I've already loaded media into Premiere Elements and placed it onto the video one track. Safe area. The first technique is setting up what I call a safe area because when you post, for example, on IGTV, you should leave some margins around 20% on the top where the arrow is located and on the bottom where your nickname and description is displayed. This area is smaller than 1080 by 1920. You don't want the main parts of your video being covered up or being cut off when it's shown on your feed. To set up the safe area, I'm going to go to Timeline, New Adjustment Layer, drag this adjustment layer to the video to track. And I'm going to extend it over these three clips that I have loaded. Next, I'm going to go to effects. Then I'm going to type in crop. I'm going to drag crop on top of the adjustment layer. It's going to crop the image in four different places. I'm going to set the top to be around 20%, right? I'm going to set back to zero. And then the bottom, I'm going to keep at 20%. And then the other technique that you can do is you can right click, select save as preset, call this safe area. I'm going to click OK. So then if I delete this crop, next time I wanted to add it in, I can just go back to effects, search for safe area, drag it in, and then it'll automatically have those preset. Click enable to turn the safe area on or off. And on IG, that's your cover photo or feed with inside the carousel. As it's going through your actual feed, the main part IG would show would be this area. And then when someone clicks onto the video, that's when they would see this full video. And then you might have something down here that might be covered up by these words or by the, the arrow. Not so much for IGTV, but on your stories, it may affect it there. But the safe area just guarantees that when you upload it to social media, that that main focus area, if I again, enable on and off, that what you're trying to show is captured. So that's the first technique that I wanted to show was safe area. The next one will be auto reframe. One of the new features in Premiere Auto Reframe identifies the action in your video and reframes it to the most important part. According to Adobe, it works best when there are black bars. I'm going to drag an, another clip to the video one timeline. And automatically this comes up, use auto reframe to keep your subject in the frame. The motion filter will be disabled. This is a video of a girl running. Select auto reframe. It says select or one or more clips from the timeline before applying. So I'm going to select the clip before applying. Then I'm going to select auto reframe. And it says your video is being reframed. See progress below. It's only going to take a couple seconds for it to auto reframe the clip. This can be great when you're trying to repurpose content that you've already created. Adobe is following and tracking the subject in there. So quickly being able to just take that video, drop into Adobe and being able to auto reframe. And notice that the adjustment layer extended to match the clip when I dropped it in. So if I click enable again, the subject falls right into that safe area. So you know that, that when it shows up on your IG feed, that your subject or that main thing that you want people to see will be captured in there. Scale. For the next technique, I'm going to drag this clip back to the video one timeline. Notice how auto reframe comes up, the adjustment layer again automatically adjusts. It's well within the safe area. You could leave it like that and post it directly to social media, or you could take the video clip, go to applied effects to motion, and you can scale it up. The subject is brought more forward. You can easily see them. And also to scale it, you can highlight it and like a box, you can drag 
up and down to scale the clip to how you want it to look. An easy way to repurpose the video, but if we were to turn our safe area on again, we have the possibility that when we post it to social media and it shows up, for example, on Instagram, that it, will, it might cut off his head. For now, we'll leave it the way it is, but I'll show you another option. Drag the adjustment layer to video track three, project assets, and I'm gonna drop the same clip back on the video one timeline. Then I'm gonna drag the next clip to the video two timeline. They're both the same exact clip. The video two is on top of video one. Start by scaling up the first clip. Take it, I'm gonna drag it up. I'm gonna put it right there and stop. And I'm gonna go to the second clip. And I'm gonna go to back to applied effects. I'm gonna go to motion. And then I'm gonna scale that clip all the way up. This is fill frame. And fill frame will fill in those black bar areas with the same clip. And then you go back to your effects. I'm gonna go to blur. I'm gonna drop Gaussian blur on the bottom clip, which is on the track one. And then I'm gonna increase the blurriness. Filled in those black bars. When it posts to IG, click enabled. He will be right there within the frame. Even if I don't like the position, because I have space to work with, I could zoom in, in again. And then I can also move it from left to right, right now that I have more space to make sure that as his hand moves, it doesn't go on and off the screen. Then I click enable again, and this video clip will ensure that it not only shows up correctly when it's in full mode, but also when it shows up in the feed. This is a clip, it's shot long ways, but I want to adjust it, go to motion, I'm going to rotate it minus 90 degrees, and then going back to the other technique I showed, just going to scale it up. And then just to make sure the subject, we'll say this is the subject for this scene is in, make sure the subject is always in that shot five quick and easy techniques the safe area just turn it on and off with enable the auto reframe third is just scaling the video up the fourth is fill frame filling in the gaps and the fifth is just going in there and rotating the video now i'm going to show you how to create three popular social media posts the first is how to put video on a white background i'm going to go to project assets i'm going to new item then i'm going to go to color map and from here you can just pick any color more than white it gives you the full spectrum you can go to google and find a color code for any color that you want i'm just going to put an fffff which is a color for white i'm going to select ok it's going to automatically drop it in right there on the video one timeline so i took a, a screenshot of a tweet I, i'm going to drag it to the video two timeline and then i want to make sure it's falls in the safe area so i'm going to enable grab the tweet and just drag it up so now i know it falls right in there and then next i'm going to make sure the adjustment layer bring it to video track four put the tweet on three and then i have a video dancing i'm going to put it on video track two and then now i have this video but it's too big to include both my tweet and the video so i'm going to highlight the video grab the corners and scale it down again using the safe area it's in that window but if i wanted to make the video fit even better. Go to effects, I'm gonna go to crop. I'm gonna drag crop down to the dancing video. And then this bottom, they're not really utilizing this area. Crop that. I wanna keep the top, say 8%, expand it even more. They're all, they're both in the safe area. And that is your standard meme video. The great thing I like about this is if you wanted to create more than one video, keeping this meme and then just change out the tweet, change out the screenshot, and then you could just copy and paste this or go to export and share and export and share, go to devices, HD 1080 by 1920, click share work bar only. And when you do share work bar only, what it allows you to is whatever within this is a share work bar area, save just that portion of the video. And say this was a much longer video, I could just save this individual clip and then replace this tweet, save it again, and have multiple different versions all to post with social media or if you have a longer post, a way to take out the main parts of your video and be able to save it. If you didn't want to do a screenshot and let's say you just wanted to add text in there, go to Project Assets, go down, go to New Item, go to Title, and Adobe is going to automatically add this title here and open up the text window. I'm going to select this text and I'm going to type in wow. Since it's on a white background, I'm going to change it to black. Click OK. I'm going to make it bold and then I can change the style and then grab the mouse. I can drag the text and place it right here and then expand it and that fits right into the window. That is how you could use the white background split screen. Next, I'm going to show you how to do a split screen. This could be used for if you have an interview, maybe between two people, or you just want to do a reaction video. So I have two different clips. I'm going to drag the first clip to the video one timeline. 
and I'm going to drag the second clip to the video two timeline. Adobe places them right in the middle and right on top of each other. Create a split screen. I can just drag this straight down, place the video right about here. I'm going to take this clip. I'm going to drag it up about there. Let me adjust this. Right there you have a quick, simple split screen. The person here could be re reacting to the video clip here, or it could be a general conversation. If I turn on and off the adjustment layer, you could see they both easily fit right within the frame. So you want them bigger. Just like I said, the other technique, just scale it up. Um, you can position it within the frame. Again, take this, you can scale it up even wider, adjust it to your liking. Like I said, with the safe area, Great thing is you could see that there's the potential for her to be covered up. You could bring this down and now you have her face would be in the window, cut off the adjustment layer. But with that, you still have a black bar up here, but not a black there. So to make it consistent, the safe area, you can keep it in the video, click enable, go to effects, the crop and adjust it down to 10, adjust the bottom down to 10. Now you have the consistent black bars on both those spaces. This having this part even covered up by a little bit of text would be okay. And that is how you could quickly do a split screen for reaction or to take your interviews and repost it to social media. The last one I'm going to show is a picture in picture effect. I already have a video on the video one timeline. Next, I'm going to drop a reaction video or what I'm calling a reaction right on top of the video two timeline. Use what I showed earlier to scale it down or Adobe has built-in picture-in-picture effect. So I'm gonna to go to picture-in-picture picture 40, and this is picture-in-picture picture lower left. So if I drag it to the video, it's going to scale it and put it in the lower left corner. So I'm gonna turn on the adjustment layer. When I turn it on, you can see lower left may not be the best place to put this video. Adjustment layer. I'm gonna go back to this video, and I'm going to move it right here Try to find a center spot for it. The background is important, but if this is for social media posts, the person talking is more important because really they're just describing what's going on or they're reacting to what's going on in this main video. So you want them both to be captured almost as equal as you can. To adjust it, you could scale it up more. So that would be more than 40% and crop. So you crop the video and the top is where I want to take off the most. And then the right, I want to keep it the bottom. I want to keep as much as possible on the bottom. And then I'll enable the safe area again. So now the subject's right there. So this video, it's not standing out from the background. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to type in bevel. I'm going to drag a bevel edge stick and you can adjust the edge thickness. So I'm going to set it right there. Even the light angle can be adjusted and the light intensity, it sticks out more from the frame and it's up to you, all the stylistic choice. Check the safe area one more time. Everything's within that frame. Click enable. And then if I click play, it could be someone talking about their experience in New York, what's going on in this main video. Drop that right in. You can even do a video or a picture and have that picture in picture effect and give you something different from what's being posted on social media. There you go. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, comment below. And next, if you want to learn how to add vertical video aspect ratio to an older version of Elements or you're just getting started editing videos in Elements, I created those two full tutorials on the screen. So make sure you check them out. My name is Ish and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today. Thanks for watching.